Okay, so hello, my name is Jose and I'm 23 years old. I am from Guatemala and I am currently living in Poland, in Lublin, that's the name of the city. And I've been thinking about doing this vlog for some time because I want to share my experience here. Uh, I wanted to share how life is different. I also, I didn't know if I should do this in English or in Spanish. Uh, Polish is definitely not an option because it's quite complicated. Uh, maybe in the future, who knows. Uh, at the end I decided to do it in, in English because I think, you know, my friends in Guatemala speak English and my friends in Poland speak English as well. Uh, but if you have any comments, any suggestions, you can leave it in the comments, you know, or you can send me a message. Uh, today I wanted to show you, uh, I, I wanted to show you the city during the fall. This is a season that doesn't exist in Guatemala, or at least not this in the same way, you know, because here it's right now yellow and... Um, red uh, everywhere you go so at least um, that doesn't happen in Guatemala I mean I, I like this season I'm still impressed because it's just the second year that I'm witnessing it uh, but the temperatures are starting to go low I mean right now we're at 8 degrees perhaps and and we are going to go to some places uh, around the city because I want to show you how different it is let's explore the city So we are right now here in Ogrodzaski <laughs> and as you can see I am having problems with my glasses but you know it's mandatory to wear a mask here and um, this is a very popular spot because it's near to the city center and it is next to the Catholic University of Lublin that's the university where Ola studies and um, you know it's quite big or at least I think it's big uh, it's got some really nice views because everything as you can see is yellow and uh, yeah I mean there are different colors of the leaves like brown yellow red right now I think most of them are color yellow uh, but we're gonna take a look around how how it looks <music> The reason why I'm living here in Poland is because I met uh, a Polish girl in Guatemala last year. She was taking part in a volunteering program. We fell in love. I decided to come to Poland and we got married on February this year. Uh, her name is Alexandra, but uh, you can, uh, the short way of saying Alexandra in Poland is Ola. I'm sure you will meet Ola in future videos. I'm not really sure if it's visible, but it is a little sunny right now and uh, something that you always have to do here is well maybe not always but during this uh, during the fall during the winter it's necessary to check the weather app before going out because it might rain uh, it might be colder than what you expect and uh, we checked the weather app and it said that it was going to be raining and it, but it was sunny you know later it got cloudy and now it's sunny again but there are clouds on the left side so you never know what's gonna happen but i mean i think it's everywhere in guatemala it used to be like that the same that it's sunny in the morning in the afternoon it's raining and later it's sunny again so this park is really great for taking pictures you know i have actually come here for some photo sessions and for shooting some videos y you can find really great spots for pictures and video here you know Right now I'm here in front of the 
University of Marikiri v Skudovsky. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. We are walking towards the center of the city. I'm gonna tell you a little more about how I arrived to Poland. I arrived to Poland last year in November and uh, and something that I like a lot about Poland, about Poland is that I think mushrooms are popular here and people even pick them up on, on the gardens and on the parks or everywhere. So I'm probably walking over a lot of mushrooms and, and that's something that I have come to like a lot. And a thing that I didn't like in Guatemala, but I really like here are the pickles, the homemade pickles. That's, um, it's a, it's a thing that whenever you go to Poland, you have to try the pickles and the pierogi. But I'm, I'm gonna be talking about food maybe in another video. I'm really struggling with the glasses right now, uh, but I think I found the trick. I'm not really sure. Um, I was telling you that uh, when I just arrived to Poland, it was uh, cold, three degrees. Uh, the temperature was three degrees. I remember. And uh, I just landed in Warsaw, we spent the night in Warsaw and the next day we went to Krakow, which is a beautiful city, I really like it. But, but, but I was like shocked because the day before I arrived, I was in Mexico, the temperature was like 33, 34 degrees. And um, I was like trying to get mentally ready for how cold it was going to be because I knew that it was going to be that cold. But I just had never been in a, such a cold place before. So if, I think even though I was trying to prepare myself, if you haven't experienced something uh, before, it's kind of difficult to make yourself an idea or prepare yourself for what it's going to be. And about the language, it was so complicated for me at the beginning because Polish is very difficult. I think if you Google it, you will find that it's like one of the most difficult to learn in the world. And sometimes I remember at the beginning when I went to the supermarket, and the lady was just asking me if I wanted a bag and I didn't know what to say but luckily some people helped me and just basic things like that which now it's of course uh, easy and I can do it normally and uh, I speak some Polish now but I can understand more than what I can speak which I think it's normal but anyways I I do feel like I need to speak a, a lot more but at least you know I can communicate with all as parents which is uh, basic they don't speak English uh, so we communicate in Polish and then, uh, th that's something, you know, I feel, I feel good about that. I'm here right now in Platlitevski, which is um, a uh, very popular place uh, people gather here on the weekends and especially during the summer you know because there's like a, a some kind of fountain here in the center and there are lights and and movement and kids are running around it, it's a very popular point like i said before i think you can realize now that it's kind of getting darker and that's because it's already half past three and the sun is already going down so that's what i was telling you it's uh, days are usually really short, so that's something that, that I still haven't gotten used to completely, but it looks really nice. And right now we are in the old town, and I cannot actually show you how it is yellow and red right here because there are no trees. And it's a shame because, because of the pandemic, the restaurants are closed, I mean you can just buy to go. And we're here to look for something to eat and I will show you more about the old town in a different video. Uh, but I just wanted to know that I'm standing right next to the place where now it's behind me where we got married. But that's a story for a different video. Till the next time.